Hi, this is Matt from Pharma Blogway, and what I'm going to show you today is how you can use XPath within Microsoft Excel to scrape websites, communities, uh, to extract valuable data that you can then plug into whether it's your SEO campaign, social media campaign, uh, content marketing, or just generally uh, gathering intelligence around some influencers that you want to kind of build relationships with. Now, <clears throat> I've been recently working a lot with XPath, and um, and to be honest, what I'm going to show you today is only really excuse excuse the term scraping the surface of um, what's what's available to work with. So. What I'm going to show you is a basic insight into how you can start working with XPath in Excel, uh, what you can get from it, and what the data would kind of look like. So the first thing that you'll need to do before anything is install Niels Bosmer's awesome SEO tools plugin for Excel. If you just Google um, SEO tools plugin for Excel, you'll you'll get straight to Neil's website. I think it's neilsbosma.se, uh, and then you'll be able to get it from there. I've also put together a full tutorial on the SEO tools plugin for Excel, so you can you can check that out on the YouTube channel as well if you want to find out what else it does. But what it essentially does, if you don't already know, I'll make this brief because I know most of you will have used this before, um, is it uses or adds in some extra functionality to Excel so that you can scrape through content from say web pages so you could grab easily the HTML title of a page um, you can grab the metadata of any URL etc etc but one of the one of the really awesome things that that the plugin does is it allows you to to run XPath uh, directly within Excel so all you'd need to do really is you'll see oh, let me just do equals XPath so you, you'll see the SEO tools for plugin uh, Excel plugin uses new formulas that have been embedded in so that you can run them like you would with a standard say auto sum account if or any other um, standard formula that you use within Excel but this this is what we're going to be focusing on the equals XPath on URL function so as an example <clears throat> what I'm going to show you is a community a digital marketing community that some of you may be aware of uh, called inbound.org <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how you can use XPath to pull in information that you want about specific people. So I'm just on all of the users here. Um, so I'm just going to click on Jason's profile. <clears throat> what I can see here is, and you can imagine this could be any community within any niche so if you're operating within the travel niche you may be looking at a travel blogger community um, if you're operating within say uh, the techniques this may be like a gadget forum or things like that and <clears throat> and what you can find is that usually people will have profile pages now for me understanding who all if I go back a page all these users are <coughs> It's, it's clear that these are fairly influential people within the SEO and inbound marketing community um, and they at least have the capability to be sharing my content and reaching a wider audience. So I'm just going to go forward through to Jason's profile. What I can get here from Jason's profile is what job position he's at, what company he works for and um, the URL maybe, the location that he's based, his personal website, uh, where he writes, his social, other social media profiles, his full name, uh, all of this would be great. So if, if you imagine I said uh, let's, let's go grab all of the, the user's information from a big community and we can start kind of doing an outreach campaign and building relationship with these guys and girls so that we can then gather more information, have more of an armory of people behind us to get our content out there. That'd be great, but it'd be a hell of a lot of copy and pasting, especially if it goes into the 
hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of members. And it's not really feasible for me to do that process kind of all in here. And if you've got a freelancer to do that, be a huge amount of hours spent doing that kind of thing. So this is where XPath comes in. Now, the nice thing about XPath is it's, it's, it's fairly easy to use. You don't really need to have a huge understanding at all of code. It's advantageous if you can kind of decipher basic HTML. So just structure. So if you were able to understand what this H2 tag meant um, and also what a class is, you don't need to do any coding, but it's just better for kind of understanding this. <clears throat> So let's just say I wanted to grab um, Jason's location. I wanted to grab the location of all the users. So maybe I could plot out and understand the geographic diversity of all of the inbound.org users. And then I can start pinning down and filtering through to people who are only close to me so that then I can engage with them on that level. What you need is a URL. This is where you're starting with a URL to scrape. So let me just get rid of this. So here's Jason's profile. <clears throat> what I want to do, and I'm just going to move this down into the second cell. So let's just use these as titles, uh, URL. And then let's say location. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is here is just it equals X path on URL. And then the first section here after the XPath on URL function is going to be which URL are we going to scrape with this XPath. So I'm just going to refer it to cell A2, comma, and then we go on to the, the, the start of the XPath code. <clears throat> now, this is where you're probably thinking, well, that's all great, Matt, but I don't have a clue what XPath is. I don't know how to code it. Don't worry. You will start, I assure you, to learn how to do this on your own. But, handily for us, Google Chrome is very good at doing this kind of thing. Also, if you use Scrape Similar uh, or Scraper Chrome plugin, um, you'll be able to kind of get this code automatically. But what I'll do is I'll just show you something quickly. Right. Most of the time, this, this will work with just using uh, this specific method. So I'm just going over the text that I want to get. So the location, I'm just going to press inspect element. <clears throat> so I found the span tag here that contains Jason's location. Now, within developer tools, all I'm going to do is just on this text here, I'm going to right click it. And it has here copy X path. Just press that. I'm going to go back into Excel, and what I'll need to do is I'll need to add an opening kind of speech mark, paste in this, which has come directly. I haven't written any of this come directly from Google, and I'll just close that off with speech marks. And then the last thing you just need to remember is Chrome will automatically put in speech marks here, but because it's already wrapped within those, we just need to do just single apostrophes. <clears throat> and then close that bracket off. And what this is saying is, let me just break this down for you so you understand. <clears throat> On this URL, A2, find the, the values of scraping through any kind of tag that has the ID, user profile, and then go down. It's essentially crawling through the code of the site. It finds the ID user profile, crawls down through four divs, goes down a span tag, and then pulls out the text. Essentially, what it does is it looks from the start of the HTML, finds finds a place in the HTML that is recognizable, so the div probably that has uh, ID user profile, and then it will just look down, count down four divs, span tag, and then finds the text. And then I press enter, and there we go. It's pulled in Jason's location. That's great. So what I can do <clears throat> is I'll just drag this down a cell. And let's go find someone else. Let's go find Ed Fry. Just 
going to put Ed's profile URL in there. And then straight away, Bristol. So you can kind of see how that would be particularly useful. Now, let's take this a step further. It's all great getting plain text, but maybe we want to grab some URLs. Maybe we want to find out what Ed's social profiles are. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to do some XPath by hand. You don't need to do this. Don't worry. You could just do what I'm showing you here <clears throat> um, and simply finding the A tag here and then copy XPath. But the reason why I'm going to show you what we need to do extra for, for grabbing hrefs, so grabbing the actual links themselves, you have to just do something extra, a little manual uh, work. Don't worry, it's really easy, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So just to show you my point of, of how actually it can be quite easy to do this, I'm going to write the XPath complete myself. Now, what I want XPath to find is any A tag that has the class Twitter. This is where this URL comes in here. Now, we're not looking for plain text, and there's just a button there, so it's not going to return anything if that's all we look for. So what I'll do is let's just go in here. <clears throat> let's just do it on its profile for now equals xpath on URL, copy in the URL that we're scraping, so Ed's profile, comma, open up the speech marks, we're then going to do two forward slashes, we're looking for an A tag, and then we do at class, let's find any A tag that has the class Twitter. And close that. Now, that on its own won't bring back anything. It comes back blank. There's no error. It's correct XPath. But what that's looking for is just what's within this A tag. Is there any text wrapped? There's nothing. So it's showing up blank. We want this URL, which is actually in the A tag. So what we do is just add an extra thing here. So after the apostrophe, so we've found where we want to scrape, we'll do another comma, open up with an apostrophe, uh, speech marks, then write href. And there we go. We've got Ed's Twitter account. Really simple. Now, normal XPath uses something slightly different. Normally, what you'd see is forward slash at href. And if you start Googling around for things, you might find when you're searching for uh, XPath and when it comes up um, within, for example, the Scraper plugin, it will tell you that. But for SEO tools for plug, uh, SEO tools for Excel plugin, you have to just uh, reference the href slightly differently. But very simple to do. Now, <clears throat> that's the basic premise. And let's just look at this sheet here. What I've already kind of populated myself with some extra stuff. So what I've done is I've got Jason's profile. I've grabbed his name, his position in the company, the company, his company URL. It wasn't actually linked um, in Jason's profile. His location, his personal website, his Twitter profile, and his Twitter handle. I've essentially just, you'll see in this, there's no XPath here. What I've just done is I've just took away the HTTPS forward slash forward slash Twitter.com and just left that there. And now I've got Twitter following, but you may be thinking, well, it doesn't tell me Twitter following on the inbound.org profile, but what I have got is his Twitter profile. So I've then used here, XPath on URL, H2, the Twitter profile URL. And then I just went into his Twitter profile, grabbed <clears throat> the XPath code where it says his Twitter following, 
and his, uh, sorry, his Twitter followers and then his Twitter following. And I've grabbed that nice and simple. I've grabbed his profile image from uh, from his Twitter account as well. So we could use that maybe for some uh, to find out doing a reverse image search, to see where Jason writes. His Google Plus URL and also his Google Plus followers. So I found his follow account um, doing the same thing by referencing the Google Plus URL and scraping that where he's a contributor to. So here we've got a nice list that I've separated by commas of all the sites that um, Jason has listed as a contributor to site. His Facebook URL, he hasn't placed a LinkedIn URL on there, but you can imagine this is very valuable data. Now, when we do that across the whole top 100 inbound users, it looks a little like this. And this took no time at all to pull in. I've got loads of people. So you see some value things here where people haven't placed the information. We've got all of these users, all of their URLs, locations, their Twitter profiles, their, their follow accounts, their contributed to URLs. We could even upload these to Buzzstream to, to gather some um, email addresses and um, you could link this up to the full contact person API all you need is a Twitter profile and that'll probably grab in all their URL uh, all their email and contact information as well you've got a huge amount of tools here a uh, huge amount of data should I say here that you can work with and I'm gonna make this template downloadable so that you can all kind of have a little look and play around yourself but this just kind of shows what you can really do with a simple bit of XPath to scrape a whole community to get big data that you can then work with to, to get big results from your campaigns. So if you have any questions related to XPath, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert, but at the same time, I'll always help you out um, if you need anything. So just drop me a, drop me a line in the comments and I'll get back to you and let me know how you get on with your own scraping projects. Okay, thanks guys.